Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So today I'm going to be sharing this information about another beautiful echeveria. I'll put the name on the screen. It's an extremely beautiful succulent, slightly compact right now because of underwatering, but it is under the process of recovery. Uh, again, the heat is getting increased a lot. I have moved a lot of my succulents as you have seen and uh, it's getting pretty warm. So most of the succulents are closing inwards, but this was particularly because of lack of uh, watering uh, but it's doing extremely well you can see that beautiful color on the succulent uh, now this is happening because the succulent is quite dehydrated and thirsty so it's putting out a lot of these uh, red markings it's an extremely beautiful succulent now I'm putting the succulent under level easy it's because it's pretty easy to take care of the succulent if provided you find the succulent on the seller's website it's slightly uncommon succulent uh, but if you give the basic care requirements for the succulent, it's pretty easy. The soil has to be loose, porous and well draining. Uh, do not add a lot of organic matter in the soil. Try to keep the soil very lean nutrient. Uh, I haven't seen much of mealy bugs. Uh, it does not get affected a lot with mealy bugs. It's quite a hardy succulent. Uh, but always remember that you reduce the amount of fertilizers in your soil. Right now it's the growing season so adding liquid based fertilizer is going to work out really well. But that doesn't mean that you're going to overload the soil with fertilizers. Always remember the succulent is not going to grow according to the amount of fertilizers used in the soil. The succulent will still grow at its own pace. So don't be in the misconception that by adding a lot of fertilizers, the succulents are going to grow very fast. That's not the case because succulents will not absorb that much of nutrients. They prefer a very lean nutrient soil. If you might have seen how the mountain soil or you know that what kind of habitat they tend to come from, they have a very arid kind of a environment condition. So they do not have a lot of nutrients in the soil and you need to replicate the same type of environment for them. Uh, talking about watering, water only when the soil is completely bone dry or when you tend to see that the succulent is getting compact or when you tend to see that there are wrinkles in the lower leaves, it's time to go ahead and do a complete watering until the water starts passing the drain hole. But always remember the soil has to be completely bone dry, meaning the soil should be dry from the upper, upper layer till the bottom layer. That is bone dry soil. Uh, talking about... Uh, Dormancy, it is getting into its growing period in summers. Winter was its uh, dormant period. Propagation is pretty simple. You can do a leaf propagation. You can separate the offsets once they reach a decent size. Stem cutting won't be possible in a compact succulent. In case if your succulent is stretching due to lack of light, then you can do a stem cutting. It's a pretty easy to grow succulent, non-fussy. So if you are a beginner, if you find a succulent or if you're just starting off with getting succulents, if you find this on the seller's website, definitely go for it. It's a brilliant and beautiful succulent. Right now, the colors are not much visible, but when it tends to get into its dormant period during the winters, the colors are going to be even more evident. It's going to have a lot of red marking on the succulent, especially on the crown area. And it looks absolutely beautiful. So talking about sunlight, give it a good amount of morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours after acclimation. You can even grow it in indirect bright light as well. You can grow it indoors for a lot of people who have a very harsh summer wherein the temperatures are really high or for people who belong to a place wherein the winters are very cold and they experience snowfall in both the high temperature as well as freezing point temperature. You can get your succulents indoor provided you have a good quality of grow light. So that's all about the light. It's a pretty simple to grow succulent. If you are a beginner, if you're just starting off with succulents and if you find this on the seller's website, you can definitely add it in your collection provided you give the basic care requirements. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.